Hi, my name is Riya Rustagi and I am the co-founder and CEO of Newfunny. And in this video, we will explore the P300 experiment, a common way to test the working memory and reaction time. In the field of neuroscience, researchers often conduct experiments to understand how our brain processes information. One such experiment is called as the P300 experiment. In this video, we explore the basics of the P300 experiment, its purpose and the significance in research. The P300 signal is a quick change in the brain's electrical activity that happens when something catches our attention, something we see, think about or do. Unlike like other brain waves that reflect long term brain states the p300 signal is a quick and distinct response that peaks around p300 milliseconds after the stimulus the signal is believed to originate from the parietal lobe a region of the brain responsible for attention and awareness of our surrounding interestingly damage to the right parietal hemisphere can lead to a condition called hemi neglect where individuals have difficulty acknowledging the left side of the world in this experiment, researchers use an oddball paradigm to elicit the P300 signal. Participants are presented with different stimuli including a target stimulus and saline distractors. In the experiment, people are told to pay attention towards occurrence of a target stimulus and press a button where they see it. The P300 experiment can provide valuable insight into a person's working memory and reaction time. By examining the P300 signal, researchers can assess attention, cognitive process and memory functions as well. As our understanding of the brain continues to evolve, the P300 experiment remains a significant tool in the cognitive neuroscience research.